Hi YouTube, today we'll be discussing the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Honey. Stay tuned. Ah, hello darlings. Welcome back to my channel. This is the SP Nation. If you are new here, welcome. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, of course. Hit that notification bell as well, just so that you're aware of all the videos that are coming out. And definitely hit that like button, just because it really helps out the channel. The channel is starting to grow again. I am just so optimistic, so excited. If you don't know me, I am the SP Nation, as I said. I'm an OG YouTuber that reviews luxury products all the time. So welcome. Bienvenidos a todos. Obviously, as you can see, I've already applied foundation and concealer, so I'm gonna go straight in with the powder. And just so that we're all on the same page, I may be in the minority here, which <laughs> nothing new for me. I'm gay and black. I mean, come on. I have never actually been a fan of Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I remember when she came out with the medium deep. I didn't like that just because it was too deep for my complexion. And then, you know, the original translucent powder, I just didn't like the way it looked on my skin and I've never actually liked it. So I really wanted to try this out because it came in a new tone so you know the shade is translucent honey so we're gonna see how this works how this work where did i get my education from how this works so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this and give this a go oh, come on i'm gonna go ahead and tap some of this in here Here's a bit of that. Because I've never really been fortunate with this powder, I'm going to go in with a small brush and I'm going to use a very small amount. I'm not going to bake with this. This is not Sasha Buttercup, honey. Because my under eyes naturally crease, I'm just making sure that everything is okay before I put on this powder. And I'm just going to lightly press this under the eye. A little bit down my nose where I originally applied my concealer and just a hair right here so far so good guys the coloring is very similar to sasha buttercup so this may actually do something for me not a complete fear i'm just gonna go ahead and start removing that powder that looks good okay miss mercier i see you okay guys now i'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and we'll get into the review oh lord mm, yes honey Okay guys, so let's talk about it. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder is 29 grams in size, comes in three different shades, and it retails for $39. As far as claims are concerned with this powder, this is a cult product. I don't need to explain it to you, but it does, you know, as far as some call outs or some highlights rather, it promises no flashback, 16 hour matte wear, or matte finish rather, weightless texture and shades for everyone essentially because it comes in three universal tones as far as, you know, where you actually fit in the shade spectrum so I think personally you know I was never a fan of it previously but I have found you know since I've been testing this out applying just a little bit of it it gives me what I want because if I bake with this this is not a powder that I personally would recommend to bake with I don't bake with it maybe it's just because I have natural creasing under my eyes so some powders don't really work well when you have natural creasing if you have a smooth under eye number one I hate you and number two <laughs> I need surgery number two you know I can't do that so you know I have to find certain powders that are a bit of a miracle, you know, something that's amazing to use. There are two standout powders that work for me personally outside of this one. And of course, those two powders are my Sasha Buttercup that I've been using recently that I have really fallen in love with very quickly. And the La Mer powder as well, which is just absolutely amazing. But of course, I believe this is $95. I don't think it's had a price increase anytime recent. So I believe it's $95, but this is a very small amount of product when you compare all three of these but it's all about luxury darling so for instance this is 29 grams this is 8 grams and with Sasha Buttercup it's 35 grams and it's around 20 25 dollars or so you know depending on where you actually purchase it so this is the best value overall now with the La Mer powder this is a true translucent powder so this one has no color in it and in terms of a color powder the Sasha Buttercup is a very yellow powder whereas this particular powder from La Mercier and the honey it's more of a pale yellow but overall all three these actually work very well for me. I have been very impressed lately with this Laura Mercier powder. Of course, the powder is very fine. We all know that about Laura Mercier and her powders. But like I said, I don't know what I was doing in the past. And, you know, because I had actually stopped using the Laura Mercier powder entirely. So I haven't actually revisited it for quite some time. So I'm very pleased that this particular powder actually turns out to be very good for me. The translucent powder doesn't really work for my skin tone and my undertone. I just don't like that 
particular powder and of course the medium deep it's just too dark and usually when I use a powder I usually will use it you know anywhere that I apply concealer with, rather than putting it all over my face so overall I think the uh, honey shade is a great shade you know if you're around my skin tone highly recommend it it's a great price point it's a great amount that you're actually getting you know versus a Sasha buttercup like I said that's it's 29 grams versus the 35 grams of Sasha buttercup overall I would say if you don't want to spend you know the extra $14 for the Laura Mercier powder I highly recommend you get Sasha buttercup because Sasha buttercup is amazing you can get it on Amazon Prime chow get it real quick highly recommend that powder but again the Laura Mercier powder very impressed with the honey shade. Definitely let me know if you have tried this particular powder or if you happen to be, you know, a translucent person and you prefer that powder or if you actually prefer the medium deep, let me know. Definitely feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll be back with a whole lot more guys. Bye.